Hi, I'm Amy Alstrom. I'm a fiber artist working on modern quilts. I'm here at the 18th Street Art Center for my artist residency. And while I'm here, I've been working on a body of work all about mental health, a series of quilts made of cotton and silk. I typically work out of the San Francisco Bay Area and my quilts are appliqued. They're all hand cut, fused, and then quilted by a process called hand-guided machine quilting. I have been working on this series since last year. It's essentially a couple of different types of self-portraits. So this is the first of three series of quilts that I'm actually working on at the moment from a show that I did last summer called All or Nothing. And this series is actually a wall installation, the first I've ever done with the same title. And the idea is it's all about all or nothing thinking, which is a type of negative thinking pattern, very common to people with anxiety and depression. Each one of these pieces has a word or a phrase that I tend to repeat in my head. Essentially, they all come together from left to right and they create kind of a map of my mind. I created this series about anxiety and depression so that people who have these struggles can see themselves in it and that people who do not can get a better sense of what it might feel like to have this sort of condition. This is my first wall installation and the idea is that you can actually read it from left to right in groups of pieces. This installation centers around this piece, Broken, and the idea behind it, it's the only text that actually is completely centered and I wanted to have everything focus on it. One of the things I wanted to do with this piece was to talk honestly about a lot of the feelings that people have that can be perceived as negative, but then have these two hands kind of reaching towards each other to kind of give it a bit of a feeling of hope. And then all of the other pieces are built around it. One of the comments that I've received a few times about this piece is that there's a big contrast between the bright colors and then kind of the dark clouds in the background and that's something that's deliberate. The idea is for this whole piece to be really overwhelming and intense and when you have this kind of bright color palette and these very graphic words and this graphic contrast I think it really brings that home. I want this piece to feel intense and I think that palette reflects it. So when I design my quilts, I actually design them all on computer, and I do that for a couple of reasons. One is to get a sense of how much fabric I need. Another is so that I can lay the piece out later when it's time to take all the cut pieces and fuse them. And then it also makes it easier to design. So when I get to the point where I'm ready to lay out the pieces, I can actually add or take away each layer to kind of see which one I need to start with because I need to iron them in order. So this allows me to take pieces away and add them so that I can lay out the piece and know that it's going to all be ironed in the correct order. This is what is known as hand-guided machine quilting. It's a type of quilting where you're actually guiding the fabric under the needle. It's very similar to drawing where Essentially, instead of you taking a pencil to paper and moving the pencil, you're holding the pencil and someone else is moving the paper underneath. So all of these patterns, these little circles, are things that I just do on my own. I don't have them traced. I just go and create the pattern as I move the fabric. It's something I've been doing for almost 30 years now, so it's kind of secondhand. One of the interesting things about quilting in this way is that if you quilt too quickly, it tends to make a stitch that's too long. If you are too slow at it, it tends to make a shape that's too bumpy. And so it's something very similar to ink drawing where it really, you have to have a very even speed. So all of the pieces in my work, I cut by hand, 
they're all applique, so they're cut by me and then fused onto the surface of the quilt. This is one of the Space Invaders. So the way that I prepare these pieces is I use something called fusible web and it's essentially almost like a fabric glue that's fused onto paper. So you can use it and iron it onto any kind of fabric and then once you finish cutting it out, you can peel the paper backing and then that will be something you can iron on. I use the iron to fuse the fabric together just to hold it in place before I quilt it. The internal dialogue is essentially these repetitive phrases again in your head and I was feeling very overwhelmed when I made these and so the idea is that it's supposed to be very intense and it becomes very surreal where this black cloud of the thoughts in your head almost becomes the separate figure with the skull head and the legs and the scissors became very important in all three of these series because scissors are really important to textile artists and they become more like agents that create or destroy. So the third series of works that I've been focusing on over the last year is a series of, again, internal self-portraits. I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression about 20 years ago but every winter I go through seasonal depression and at that point my brain just kind of empties out. So this piece is called Void and the focus becomes then just the center of the void and the center of the piece and then all of the edges are these other objects just kind of competing 